Alright, we are already finished our all iFlight build. All of the components and frame are uh, provided by iFlight for our review. We have created this uh, build with a Strider V2. And the biggest motors I've I've like have in the market, which is two five zero six to one hundred kV. I can definitely say, even though the motors are big, it can can deliver or it can be used for racing. Definitely, it's fast, super fast, I believe. And uh, installed the the Nascol iFlight Nascol uh, fifty six two propellers. It is very stable with these uh, motors. Uh, we have our electronic stocks in, in three. We have chosen uh, four in one ESC 35A Betaflight 32 bit, and we have a Rebo B32 F7 and the VTX, the iFlight The Force version 2 with IRC Trump protocol. The F7 I've, I'm running with uh, with with what D shot 1200 for this ESC and uh, 32k mode is turned on but I'm running on 16k by uh, 16k and 8k for PID loop gyro and PID loop. Uh, more than that I'm I'm reaching a hundred percent but 16 16k 8k I'm uh, already. 20% with dynamic filter is turned on. I also turn off the notch filter 1 and 2 with uh, PT1 uh, turned on and with no issue with the vibration with this propeller or three bladed propellers but uh, we have tried a uh, two bladed Emax Avan and other two bladed the Dalpa two bladed 50-50 also we can have a considerable uh, a vibration oscillation high frequency oscillation when we are using those props but I've uh, managed to solve that issue by putting a not the o-rings but uh, the vibration mounts uh, in the FC I can put the link below about this vibration mount and uh, we solve the issue one more issue uh, with this FC running on 32k mode is uh, it's the arming arming is quite I mean you, you need to wait for one minute or so to arm it I think because of the calibration or, or initialization of the gyro when you plug in your battery in the first time but I solved that issue and managed to get it uh, 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 reduce the, f the the time on on uh, getting the gyro on initialization initialization is by adjusting the moron threshold from 48 to 60. But uh, the first plug, if if still uh, uh, the RM sequence is too long, we need to remove it and plug it again. Uh, without any vibration and, and it will initialize the very quickly uh, we have the BTX also the VTX is IRC Trump I put it on uh, uh, at the UART 6 of this uh, Rebo B32 F7 and I can control uh, uh, the, the power uh, from 25 to 600 uh, milliwatt and also pit mode I can control through Lua Squirip and OSD we have also the frequency band also we can control Lua script on your trainees or on your OSD I choose this dipole antenna to reduce weight and and also I can so that I can fit my XSR I run out of our XSR and I only choose uh, XSR but I need a space so so I didn't choose the SMA pick that comes to this BTX. 
instead this uh, dipole antenna.